Alright then. Let's see, we got the front door. We got this door we can't go into. We got the living room and photos. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I'm swing. Super duper happy and super duper blonde. You got mail from Kate. Uh, I could do this. Yeah! Uh, thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem, that guy is a butthole. Alright then. God, we're so seen nosy. In five years. Seems like forever. He told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. So is that David do the like school security guard? Is that her stepdad? Because if so, then we're in trouble if he I comes home and sees us here. Alright, let's look around some more. There's a fireplace. There's a vase. A vase on a fireplace. Uh, whatever. A fridge and a photo on the fridge. Joyce still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. And burgers, cereal, milk, peanut butter, chocolate cake, oil, bananas, toilet paper. Underline the toilet paper. Maybe she started the toilet paper war in, this, in that dorm. Alright, let's go around some more TV. Switch on. Best show ever. Switch off. <laughs> Alright then. So, uh, what the heck? Uh, switch on the lights. Eh. Alright then. Got a nice little light in the room. Switch off. We could see just fine, I guess. A jar. Travel money. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Alright, let's look at this. A couch. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wrecked now. Oh, poor ship is sunken. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Uh, memories. May not seem like much, but these are the kind of memories that are like the best ones. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. Uh, let's look over here now. Guess there's nothing else to examine. This is a nice TV, that's for sure. Uh, could we go outside? Yes, we can. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out to summer. Alright then. Let's see if we look at that ball down there. No. Uh, there's a grave, huh? We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. There's a kitty named Bongo! That's so adorable. Oh, poor kitty. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Hmm. If we go over onto the swing? Uh, yes we can. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. 
I actually still have my old swing set back at home, and I do sometimes just sit on it and think, and it's kind of surreal, just all the things that like come to mind when I'm sitting there. I really do like- I know I've said this before, but I really am enjoying this game, and I'm glad that I'm actually LPing it. Uh, there's more wine bottles out here, beer bottles rather. Uh, I think we could go in now. Alright, let's go look for those tools. Uh, we already went in there. Oh, wait, no, we haven't. That's the stinking garage, I isn't it? I should be able to find the tools I need here. Uh, yes, it is. Let's see. Nothing. This is so lame. Let's see. Go in the car. The car. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Uh, food? Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. A hundred years of spam. Shit! Butterfingers! This actually have consequences. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. She knows something? This is... Creepy. Well, can we rewind time? Yes, we can. Alright then. Let's see, can we use this computer? No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. What if there's a map on the computer though? Uh, search this. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Alright then. Open this up. Another TV. This action will have consequences. Of course it will! What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? This is weird. Like, is this even legal, the things he's doing right now? Because this is seriously messed up right now, That all this stuff. Can I close it? Yes, I can close it. Yeah. Well, I'll have consequences now, son. Or whatever. Uh, flip the camera around over to this away. Over here, uh, hello. Look up there. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Hmm. Turn this on. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Okay, then, let's put that back up there. So what do you want me to do then? Push. Ah, I see. I see, that's smart. Uh, turn this on. Alright, now we pull this out. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Uh, now what? Turn this off, I guess. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Uh, I guess that's it then. Gonna go and set and fix it in Chloe's room, I guess. Switch this on. What is this? Uh, guns. No likey. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes! Score! Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. So that pretty much confirms it is that dude, the security dude. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Uh, 
Uh, I think that's it for this room. Is there anything else? Nope. Alright, then let's head back upstairs. This little fan thing. I think this... I don't know, we're going for about two hours now. Now I don't know how long these episodes are, but I assume we're getting close to the end because if it's like similar to The Walking Dead, each episode will be like around a two-hour, two-and-a-half-hour mark. And so then that means we're coming to an end. How sad. I don't want it to end. This is super fun. Back upstairs once again. And Chloe's room, wherever that may be. I have no idea. Uh, let's go this one. Wrong way. <laughs> awesome. Alright then. Hey Chloe, we found the stuff. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Alright, will do. Good thing we know how to do this. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. Uh, yeah, I was there. I was there. Hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja I've been told that Nathan's lately. Head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money drugs but that's it now for the big question did you tell anybody um like who like anybody stop stalling sister the principal but he didn't seem to believe me the principal are you still 12 that drunk jackass only cares about cash from blackwell academy don't trust him i didn't mention you at all swear thank god I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Chloe. Take photo. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Turn it off! Turn it off! How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on! Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. And you'll probably kill me too. What's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. I'm going. I'm okay, coming. Okay, hiding here. 
Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Ah, great. Wee. All right then. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Can we move this Chloe first. All right then, move that. I'm and changing. somehow that prevents the stuff from falling out. All right, I'll buy it. Just let me Go in here. Now. One second. My bra is stuck. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Oh, God. I feel like she's going to get even more trouble if I show up. Um, oh, thank God for no timer like The Walking Dead. Um, I'm going to stay hidden. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Splatoon? Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. <gasps> Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother, and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real stuff douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hickhole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? Uh, do I want to reset? I kind of want to just stick with my choices, but I don't like her getting slapped. But I don't think we're going to th make things much better by taking the blame for it, because we're going to be here. I think I'm just going to go with it. Uh, I'm sorry, if Chloe. If I use my power, it might help. Damn, what are you waiting for? Open the window. Okay, okay. Leave Chloe's room, I guess. 